Hello, ducks. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the duck adventure for, oh, I think it's the 14th. But look at this. Now there's no ducks we're speaking about on this side. They're all on the new side. It's uh, exactly five minutes after 4 a.m. The ducks are uh, enjoying the whole pen now. So I don't know what's going on. But you can clearly sleep, see they're sleeping on this side. Doug just woke me up. He was uh, he's laying here wide awake, staring out the window, watching the pen. And I heard his toenails hitting the edge of the uh, window frame. Hello, ducks! Oh, my ducks. No, you're not coming out, Doug. You're going to be under supervision today. Temperature has fallen big time. I got up at 4 a.m. to do uh, a bunch of editing because today I got to get my beans processed. And uh, it was 21 degrees at 4 a.m. It's already down to 13. We're going to let the ducks out. I'm going to go down with them to the swamp just in case something happens here. I'm going to hunt. They're going to uh, come back to the yard. I don't think they're going to stay at the lake with the, uh, the weather. Ducks aren't big fans of the wind. And there's a ton of wind right now. Actually, <laughs> I can't believe how cold it is. It uh, is a quick, it's, it's a good reminder. The wind is coming. Yes, Dex. I've been glancing out all morning, looking to see if there's anything out on the lake. Haven't seen anything, but the problem is, is so there's so many waves that uh, I can't see any ripples. Well, if the if the uh, if the otters show up, the ducks will just come home. All right, ducks. See the ducks staying down the creek today, guys. I'm thinking uh, they're going to be coming home to do the uh, the yard. The wind is pretty intense. Holy mackerel! I'm having a hard time holding the camera steady here.
It's a nasty north wind. Yeah, the ducks are slowing down here. They're they're not too interested in going to the water at any kind of speed. Holy crap. Yeah, look at this, see? They got right out of the water quick here. Unless there's something in the water. Okay, well that's bizarre. The cage is in the water. Well that makes no sense. I have dragged that cage out. I don't see any uh, footprints, like of any, you know, anything that big that would somehow lift the cage back into the water. That is weird. Because I had the cage right there, guys. And it's over here now. And there's absolutely no tracks anywhere on the ground. That is really, really weird. And like there's nothing in the cage that would cause anything to want to uh, um, get it. It's, it's, there's no bait in it. Oh, all right. I was screwing with the cage, and something's going on here. I think the otters are here. Yeah, look at this. The ducks are coming back home. Yeah, they don't want to go to the water. Something's totally freaking them out. Yes, ducks, I see that. Okay. I gotta uh I gotta get in a position here. I just fired off a couple rounds, just make some noise. Uh, the ducks are totally freaked out. They're uh, they're not interested in the lake. I think it's the wind. Because I, I stood here and saw nothing, heard nothing, no chirping, but the wind is freaking intense though. And I know ducks just hate the wind. I think a lot of the reason they hate the wind is because they can't uh, uh, hear anything. I think the wind uh, screws up their awareness. All right, I gotta go get uh, ready, start processing beans. I'm gonna do the duck water right now. I got a hunch they're gonna come back to the yard. I think they're gonna hang around the yard today. I don't think they're gonna stay down here for long. Oh, duck's got a, um, a mud coat. Turn around and show us. Stop moving your head so quick. Oh, it looks like you dropped it. That's like the third or fourth time I've seen a, uh, a duck with a mud pouch. Oh, there's another one. Okay, there must be a bunch of mud pouch in the creek here. Okay, duck, hold still. That's got to be what the ducks, when they come down and they're they're freaking out uh, in the water here. It's got to be, uh, you know schools of uh, young mud pout coming into the creek because uh, 
I, that's like this morning, I saw two so far. Oh, big raven over top. He'll be freaking the ducks out too. All right, I gotta go get my uh, self set up here. I gotta be, uh, we're gonna be cleaning in the back room today for the garden. It's too cold to be sitting out in the back deck wet, cleaning vegetables. You're not gonna believe it, guys. I've got a wicked earache. I actually should have a winter hat on. My, uh, the wind off the lake is brutal in my right ear. I was, that was the side I was facing the lake while I was working. Man, it feels like winter. It's only September the, what, 15th, 14th? I don't know. It's far too cold for September right now. All right. Oh, I gotta get the water for the back deck. I'm, my, my head is pounding from this earache so bad right now, I can't think. Well, I was right about the wind. It uh, caused the ducks to come home and they've spent the whole day here uh, on the other side of the pen. They were actually in the yard when, uh, when uh, uh, Simon and I were uh, cleaning all the uh, veggies. But once we finished, the ducks have been staying down here. So I'm just gonna do my chores, fill up the feeder. But it's too windy at the lake. They don't like it. And it wasn't because uh, there was anything chasing them because nothing happened here. They were as calm as could be all day. Ducks had a good day today, actually. So did I. I got 96 pounds of beans in my freezer. Tomorrow's green beans. That's what we're picking tomorrow. We're gonna get this garden done and get back to normal here. Well, I made a hole in that 10 bags I put in the feeder two days ago. They're starting to pound the food down, which doesn't make any sense because they're down at the lake or they're, you know, they're running around the property. I'm, uh, I, I don't understand. It's gotta be the cooler weather. Like I'm watching them down at the lake eating, catching frogs, you know, mud pout and it's like, I don't believe it, what they're starting to eat now. <laughs> they're burning through the feed. By the way, guys, Dougie's in the house. He's on uh, disability today. I'm, uh, I'm doing an every second day situation with him if he doesn't listen and yesterday he didn't listen he was doing some serious running he's actually gotten more active because of the cool weather Oh, the ducks are going back down to the creek. A bunch of happy ducks. The hissing goose. The nest is getting uh, more and more like a mound. Right in the middle of the floor, right at uh, like don't do it in a corner. I just can't believe that we had you know four goose eggs this late in the year. I don't believe we might potentially have some goslings this late in the year. I'm gonna give some of these beans to the hospital ducks. How you doing, bulging eye duck? Not too good, are you? All right. This is a pretty depressed bunch of ducks. I don't think uh, these ducks that are inside have even come outside today. No. See the cooler weather? They're all hiding inside now. I think a lot of these hospital ducks are not going to fare out too well. They like this area. They like it more than the yard, actually. That wind is so brutal today, guys. It feels like winter. I'm here with water ducks. North wind, huh? Winter's coming.
You know, they've got that so packed down out there from walking around. I'd still like to know how the, uh, the trap got back in the water this morning. <laughs> water, eh? I'm a big magnet here. Duck magnet. As long as I've got running water. Oh, look at this! The Muscovy is flying! And he's big. I had a hunch he was gonna fly. Because he's not as big as Neil you know, Mo is. He's the smaller breed in the Scoby. Well that was pretty cool. So that means the other three. The smaller ones, they're definitely going to fly. We could get some epic flying action this fall, guys. Because those Muscovies are smaller breed than mine. And ducks are coming back. Oh. You know, they come up and they stand beside me and look at me. Hi ducks. Hello ducks. It's the guy in the purple coat. <laughs> so many ducks. Look at them all. Oh, I'm going to be so glad when the garden gets done this week. I'll do my finishing touches on the pan, and the drone gets out. And we'll get the ducks used to the drone, which I don't think is going to take too long. Busy ducks. All right, I'm gonna get the feeder filled up with feed here and get my supper happening. I can't believe it's already quarter to six. I can't believe today, uh, five and a half hours, Simon and I clean beans. Two guys, five and a half hours chopping beans up. That's crazy. All right, so I filled this absolutely right to the top two days ago. Well, there's a little bit left. About a bag, bag and a half. They power pounded down roughly five bags a day right now. They're making a dent in her. Gotta make sure I get on the right side of the feeder here because I've got the wind coming off the lake. So I really don't want to be standing inside the dust cloud that's about to happen when I empty this bag. And the dust is blown towards the house. Perfect, I'm on the right side. Normally I stand on that side. 
I hate when it blows back in your face. And the ducks found the uh, beans. I honestly don't think they know what they're eating. I think they just eat for eating. You know, because I, you know, I, I just can't see how they can know uh, that that's food. I think it's just because it's something strange in the pen, and they're just like, well, let's see what happens when you eat it. <laughs> It'll be all gone by tomorrow. So these little Muscovies should start flying pretty soon. Because I think they're one month younger than the one we saw that just flew for us. We should get some serious flying action. Because with their smaller body, they should actually fly even more than my females do in the fall. And this is the big guy that just flew. Like, look at the size of him. And he just flew. Like, I, I think uh, we're gonna have some epic flying. Plus my females flying. We'll see if they stay here or not. I haven't had a duck leave yet. They know which side the uh, bread is buttered. And it's buttered heavily in this place. Oh, more ducks are coming. It's feeding time, huh? Which the feeder wasn't even empty. Now they're doing the migration around the yard. I think it's the cooler temperature, guys, that why uh, everybody's a little more active today. All right, I gotta put my wheelbarrow away. And get my supper happening. This is the strangest thing, guys. I'm walking around the yard and I can hear otter chirping. in this area. Okay, the ducks are a little bit freaked out. Now the creek does run right up through here. But it's not really running right now because everything's so dry. Unless the otter came up the creek bed. It's just strange. I was in the driveway and I could hear chirping over here. Okay, now that I've walked over here, the chirping has stopped.
this is really strange because you know otters aren't known to come out on land to hunt unless they're really really hungry and they're craving a duck dinner But if they were going to come out of the water and follow the creek up, this is the area they would be in. You know, I was walking around the yard and I could hear the chirping. I thought it was, first I thought it was squirrel or chipmunk, you know. Then I started listening closer to it. And I realized it was not an, a chipmunk or a squirrel. So dry the creek's not even running anymore. Totally stopped. And this is a spring fed uh, creek, it trickles all year round normally. There's no water. There's lots of dug trails through uh, this area. He's got a maze of trails. Because I know it's him. I've seen him going through here. I've never seen the creek not running, guys. I've been here 20 years. I can't believe how dry this is. No water, usually they get trickles all year round. There's absolutely no water movement. I think this year is a drought year. They might not say it, but I'm telling you, I've, I've never seen my property this dry. Well, I'm walking down here, and usually this area is, uh, you know, you, you, you're taking you know, your life into your hands if you want to get wet or not. Because usually, you know, this is like, like, it's like jello, it's a sponge. Like, compared to normal, that's solid. It's dry. Sign or anything. I still like to know how that uh, trap got in the water. Well, the chirping stopped. And it definitely wasn't a squirrel or a chipmunk either. It was otter chirping. It looks like the ducks are up at the yard for the night. You know, they spend the day on this side of the uh, the pen and at the end of the day they work their way up towards the house they got a routine I think a lot of it's to do with safety they feel safer up at the house when it starts getting darker but today was a uh, quiet day 
is I kept watching when I was uh, cleaning and I saw no activity whatsoever. Just ducks, actually the ducks were swimming uh, all over the, uh, the shoreline. And if they were getting chased today, they wouldn't have been swimming all over the, sh the shoreline. Even Simon commented on how loud the ducks were at the lake quacking. He couldn't believe the amount of noise they were making. Well, I found out it was chirping, guys. It was a groundhog. Which is bad news. Oh, they could destroy a garden. As long as he stays away from my garden, I'll leave him alone. But he's the kind of critter that uh, they they destroy gardens. Absolutely, like, destroy them. Worse than rabbits. But if he stays out here and just eats apples on the ground, I'll leave him alone. Honestly, I'm surprised that he's even here. Because Doug would be chasing him like crazy. He must be just passing through. Because I've, I haven't seen a groundhog here on the property in quite a few years. So it's got to be just a, a young ground. Well, it, is, it actually is a young one. It's a small one. It's got to be just passing through. Discovered all the apples. Thought, oh, this is a treat. And then I walked up and startled it. Actually, it startled me first because I was like, okay, what is it? And I had to double take. Simon brought my garbage pail back from the highway. <laughs> he was in my driveway. And I was like, oh, okay, what are you doing with my garbage pail? It hangs up by the gate. Oh, yeah, I haven't showed this to you guys, but I've got a whopper of a, uh, a wasp or a hornet's nest. I don't know what it is. They haven't come uh, to the house to bother me. I've just left them. But it's a whopper good size one. And I've been watching it, but I never see anything flying in and out of it. Which has got me baffled because something this size would be crazy, the activity out of it. And I don't understand where they are. I noticed it about oh, 10 or 12 days ago. Two weeks, yeah, but two weeks ago I noticed it. It just all of a sudden appeared. But I haven't seen any activity. Nothing flying. Oh, I thought I just saw one. If it uh, stays away from the house, I got no problem with them. They've got their purpose. Okay, I just saw another one. First time I get stung, I'll be fixing it. And I won't be using a shotgun, guys. I'm, uh, I, I have a much more efficient way of taking care of those guys. It's called come out here with the spray in the middle of the night and soak it and just kill them all. But that's the last resort. Taking a shotgun and shooting them is just stupid. All you're gonna do is really make them upset and a good chance you're going to get stung and it's not going to solve your problem because they're just going to rebuild the only way to get rid of them is to kill them but if they don't bother me i won't bother them oh the ducks are a little bit freaked out here i wonder if it was the groundhog that's been freaking them out because if the groundhog was running around the edge of the lawn that would freak the ducks out. And the fact that the ducks are freaked out right now, and the fact that the groundhog headed this direction through the bush is quite possible, actually. Yeah, I think the groundhog went along the, the uh, bush line and got the ducks all rattled because they're all over here in front of the pen. Oh, Dougie would love to chase that. Yeah, I think the groundhog probably ran through there in the bush and freaked the ducks out. Okay, I gotta go get my supper ready. 
let these guys uh, congregate in front of the pen here. And we'll come back out and lock them up when it gets dark. They're all coming to this end of the pen. There's uh, no ducks on the other side. There's a bunch of ducks on the left hand side of the pen. But it, it sure looks like they're they're getting ready for the end of the day here. I think they had a good day, guys. I think they didn't have any predator problems. I think it was just another good day at Duck Paradise. Oh, well, we got a whole bunch of mating action down here. The males are getting back into the groove here. Well, I, I did find, uh, I forgot to tell you, I found three eggs this morning in the pen. End of the day, the duckies are coming home for the night. But it was a beautiful day for the ducks. They had a good time. And I had a good time actually too, because I got 96 pounds of beans in my freezer. And tomorrow was the green beans. Oh man, I'm gonna be glad when this is out of the way. Huge amount of stress. Uh, I worry, worry, because I was starting to get worried. I was like, oh, how am I gonna get my food in the freezer? Because you know, guys, I don't buy my food at the grocery store. And if I don't have it in my freezer, it means I actually have to go and buy it. And after, you know, Simon was telling me the prices, I haven't bought food since August 2011. So I like, I, I have no idea what the stuff costs. I've totally forgot. And when he was telling me the prices of, uh, you know, he actually showed me today uh, how much you get for five bucks on beans. I, I can't imagine that because honestly, what he showed me today, what you get for five bucks, I eat twice as much of that at a, at a sit down. Like when I, like I eat probably, probably about a pound and a half, pound and three quarters of vegetables for supper. I'm a big veggie eater. And uh, what he showed me, what you get for five bucks, like it's $10 a meal is what it would cost me. And that's at, you know, today's price fresh. Like you start buying the stuff in the middle of the winter, look out. I can't even get my head around, uh, you know, paying that much money for food. I take it for granted that it's free. It just grows out of the ground, you know? And what I can't eat myself, I just feed to the ducks. Like actually, the the, piece, the, the beans that I didn't uh, process today, it was probably about $20 worth of beans that I just threw in the pan for the ducks. I guess I should get out to the store more often and, and take a look at, you know, to see what the rest of the world's paying. No, Dougie, you're not coming out. You'd like to come out, wouldn't you, for a run? No, because you can't be trusted. Stay there. Holy mackerel, is it ever cold? I got my shorts on because it's warm in the house and it feels like winter out here. Hello, ducks. I've come to lock up everything. Like, look at them all. I don't get this. Oh, the wind off the lake, guys. Oh, she's cold on my legs. Well, I don't see any ducks out. It's like everybody's in the pen. Yep, everybody went in the pen early tonight, actually. That's a rotten squash. It's not a duck, guys. Look at this, eh? All over there. 
an hour from now, they'll be all over the place. It's like when they first go in the pen, they've got to stay on the old side. All right, we're done. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show.